There's a thing, so I'm trying to make a movie. I uh, hope I don't make it more scary by showing this big spaghetti. It's not as bad as it seems, so we'll start from the LMB. In this case, we have the LMB connected to a two-way splitter. One of the ports is clearly marked DC pass. Okay? So, this is where the voltage is going to flow from the remote to the LMB. The other tip of this little splitter is connect behind a modem that will be generating this guy here, it will be generating voltage so that the LMB can generate a noise floor okay, back here the noise comes from this guy voltage arrives from here but the noise comes back to the splitters through this other cable so now this cable goes into one of the out ports of the conveniently labeled RX splitter. So the signal goes into here and gets distributed through all these guys. Each one of our modems or line cards is using one of these ports. However, one of these ports is uh, the one labeled input is carrying the noise floor generated by the LMB across to the other splitter which is the TX side. So on the TX side. This comes from the line card or from the back of the chassis. This comes from the other splitter, which is marked input. On this one, the transmit side, we do not use the DC pass. And the transmit side of each one of the remotes will go on these available ports. Sometimes it is necessary to use an attenuator because the signal to noise ratio is just too much. I don't believe that you have to preoccupy about that right now. As long as we can make this basic connection, which is difficult to visualize here, uh, you should be ready to go. So, let me send this over to you.